Hey everyone, I'm Iris. I am filling in for Jessica this week. Thanks for having me. And I'm Doug. <laughs> and uh, this week we covered barn doors. So that starts with a regular Charleston, and then we go in on the second front kick, go into this pattern. We talked about coming on five and reconnecting with the hip every time. Follows, we talked about leaving this arm engaged so we're not letting it drop because that makes it hard to reconnect. And then, uh, and then when we're ready to get out of it, we scoop up the follow, reconnect with the whole back. And that's when I let this arm just relax down. So let's do that from the other side so you can see the arms. So it looks like this. Ooh, regular basic Charleston. Huh. Huh. We talked about playing around with this stretch. We didn't do it much in class, but we encourage you to play with that. Ooh, ha, who and the scoop up, who ha. And one note when we're talking about counts is you connect on that hip on five. Five. So you asked about that, looks like this. One, one two, three, four, five. Seven and a one, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, we also just did a lot of work on our Charleston on making it more clear and making it more athletic. Coming yes. really far down, bending our knees, bringing Having our shoulders this forward, position. Mm -hmm. and really getting these to hinge from the knee. Yep. Um, and then we specifically did an exercise about driving forward in our kicks. Step, kick, step, kick, step, kick, step. That will really help the kick-ups move. We did... Uh, that we did last Rock week. Step, kick step, kick step, big kick. Yes, so key thing there, leads especially, sorry, I just poked you. <laughs> uh, drive yourself forward. So you yes. really gotta drive forward in order to make that clear. All right, thank you so much for doing Six Count in Charleston with us. Come back next month. Bye everyone.